Charlene living with Scott makes me feel betrayed and lied to and hurt. Scott, what's going on? What's going on? You, well, you got some explaining to do, Scott. Like, What'd you tell me in the car? About about her staying here? You remember yeah, the tell truth. me what you said. Repeat exactly what you said. Basically said I was bummed out, extremely bummed out because of getting dumped. So you moved a woman in with you? No, I've known her like 15 years. She's always been here for me, no matter what. She was always there to pick up the pieces. So why did you say I can't get rid of Charlene? I never said I could get rid yes, of Charlene. Yes, you did. In the car. Mm-mm. We were talking about Charlene, and now she's right here yeah. facing you, and you can't tell her the truth, what you told me yesterday. But You're such get... a liar. I care about you both, OK? I don't want to lose you, and I don't want to lose you, OK? Our relationship's different than our relationship. Ours will always come first, because, you know, you're my girlfriend. She's my friend. OK, we can stop all this going back and forth. Yeah, because this just... is just ridiculous. Mm -hmm. I don't think that you guys should be having any type of relationship to we have her take a drug test. That's the only way that I'm going to be OK with this. You know how many people don't believe in me? And I'm just like, really? Number one, I know I'm clean. I'm clean and silver. I don't have to use drugs. But Scott hasn't been himself for the last couple of years. When Scott visited me in Wisconsin, I didn't understand who this man was because the man that I met on pen and paper was different than the man I met in real life. And I believe, honestly, that Scott was on drugs. Thank <laughs> you.